Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engine video. So today we're going to be checking out more objects that you guys have uh, sent in for us to have a little look at. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So we still have we have a huge list that we need to catch up on here um, for Space Engine. So let's just get straight into this. So, right, let's go ahead and copy this in. So a lot of these are from Mad Planet Guy. So let's go ahead and uh, see what he has uh, sent in for us today. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Enter it in, right? See what we got. So, cold super Jupiter. So he said around th this one has very unique moon system, two giant marine worlds, and an ice super giant. Right. So let's have a little uh, look at this then. So, okay, we're around this one. Uh, is this object six? Because this is object six. So where is the I'm trying to work out the moon system? So it's got 52 moons, right? Orbits. Oh yeah, look at the size of that moon. That's a big moon there. Right. Okay, so this is the cold super Neptune moon around i mean this is large enough to be a planet itself probably i mean yeah that's that's pretty large so that is a huge huge um planet pairing uh there i mean it's, you could almost argue it's a binary but i mean uh still orbit in it and then the next object over here is this one so that's the super super aquaria one and then uh lastly i think the other big moon was this one all three of them oh no went to the wrong one there so go ahead and zoom out so it is this one here Right, okay. That's quite a cool find, actually. So, very unique moon system. So, yeah, two giant marine worlds and an ice uh, super giant. That is, uh, that is pretty cool. So, let's actually have a little run of this simulation. Just see uh, how this all plays out. So, let's go ahead and click play. Let them all uh, go around nice and quickly. So, check that out. That is pretty crazy how all that is stable as well. I mean, if you to run that in a different... If Universe Sandbox or something, that would probably... Uh, Probably wouldn't work, but I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool how that's all sitting in there comfortably. I mean, very nice. So there is that one. All right, excellent. So that's the first uh, system today. Right, okay, so next up, there's 30 planets in the system. Wow, okay. So let's see, uh, see what this one is all about. So these are all just rare finds as far as I know. So let's go ahead and go here next. Red Dwarf Triple, 31 with life as well. Right. So where are all these uh, planets out there? Let's have a look. So, Barry Center. So we've got A, Star A. Okay, so there's all of those guys. So is it all the other ones around Star B? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of stuff. Look at all that. Oh, wow, we Okay. So let's have, go to Star A itself. And we're not going to go for every planet individually, but we'll have a good peek of what's going on here. And I think it's actually a binary between... Okay, so there's two stars together, and then there's a single star. So there's actually three stars. Okay, so there's all... Oh, yeah, look at all that. So we got those guys. And then this is the... What, what's this? Okay, so that's a planet as well. Okay, right. So here we are. And that's also got loads of moons in orbit of it as well. Right, okay. God, I forgot how good the graphics in this game are. Right, so zooming out again. So that's in a binary with this over here. And then those are both in a binary with another binary. There's a lot of binaries in here. So... Okay, so, yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a lot of planets for a system. So 30, 30 planets in here. I mean, they're all around different stars, but remember, it's all part of the same system. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So, star A, and then obviously all these guys around here. I won't view any of them in, unless there's anything that looked particularly interesting. The one with life, we'll have a little peek at that, I guess. So, that's over here. Okay, that's got a moon as well. Oh, yeah. So, there it is. Not really too much to, interesting to look at there. And then, uh, lastly, the second star over here, Red Dwarf. Uh, and this has a lot of objects around it as well. Wow, we okay. So that's actually got binaries around it as well. There's binaries everywhere here. Wow, we okay. Right. So moving on next, uh, he's topped it with a 31 planet system next. So what is this all about? Right. So let's uh, go ahead and have a little peek at this one. So let's go ahead and delete that. Enter this one in. Have a little peek. So traveling the cosmos again. Right. So what have we got over here? Right, so another Barry Center, and there's also a uh, Brown Dwarf. Have a little peek at the Brown Dwarf first. It's got some objects around it. Not seen a Brown Dwarf that's blue before in this. That's quite an interesting one there. Cool. Liking that. So that's obviously got its own set of uh, planets around it as well. Very nice lineup of them all, actually. Look at that. Right, and then on to the main stars. Again, they've got some each other. I mean, there's so many objects stuffed in here. Wow. I mean, surely a system like this wouldn't... I mean, that'd be very hard to be possible. I mean, there'd be a lot of orbital gravity and stability issues on this, surely. I mean, that's that is pretty hectic. Okay, so there's that one. 
Okay, next up we've got another uh, planet. A very weird system. Has a somewhat Earth-like world around an active white dwarf with giant jets. Also has a red dwarf orbit in it. The Earth-like world, despite having a huge moon, is tidy locked. Right, okay. This seems uh, interesting. Let's have a little... Uh, let's go over here. So we're actually visiting a planet itself this time instead of some systems. So, right, a lot of stars in here. Right, where are we? Right, oh, let's so slow it down. There's a big cluster of stuff. So... Have a little look in here. So, well, there's the there's the white dwarf itself. So, where's the planet itself? So, he said it was a um, somewhat Earth-like world. So which one is it? So, there's the red dwarf. Is it that one, maybe? I'm not really sure which one's the Earth-like cold Neptune. I mean, I guess we have a peak at the moon. Which one has a moon? Maybe this one? I mean, we can have a view from the moon anyway, actually. So, there's the first one. That's quite a cool planet, so... That does look. That is a cool view. We're definitely gonna have to get a surface view um, of that. So maybe maybe it's this one actually, because this one only has one moon. So maybe this. I'm guessing this is the tidy locked one. Let's have a little look of it. So here we are. Ooh, taking a while to zoom in. Come on, go a little quicker than that. There you go. Right. Okay. So I'm guessing it's this one. It's tilted on its side as well. So right. Now what we're gonna do is just have a little uh, have a little glance. Let's turn off the orbits as well. Ooh. Okay, so let's go down. This is quite a nice uh, like ice field here. I'm guessing this isn't water, is it? That looks pretty frozen to me. But I mean, let's have a little look down. So slow it down. Oh, actually, we'll slow the slow the game time down as well. Actually, so let's uh, have a nice uh, look on the land here. Let that load up as well. Right. Okay. So now we need to look in the sky of this uh, pretty crazy world. So where are we? So there's the white dwarf and the red dwarf. But so let's try turning down some of the options so let's see which one is it uh exposure okay so there's the white dwarf and you can see the red dwarf next to it so if we click play does it move can you see any of the pulsar stuff you can see the obviously the stars are orbiting each other around there you can see they're constantly going it almost looks like they're colliding but they're just going past each other there okay it's cool when they pass together actually but yeah i can't seem to seem the beams of energy from the white dwarf now that's probably because we have an atmosphere so if we turn off the atmosphere there you go. Now you can see the beams coming out of it. Yes, look at that. So there's a good view of it now. Um, if we turn, um, I guess we could try the um, exposure again. So turn it up. But obviously, it's going to get really bright when we do that. But I mean, you can get a fair good view of the uh, jets coming out of it now. So yeah, what do you think of that? That does look pretty cool. But yeah, like like you said, tidally locked. This thing is always facing the si same side of the star, even though it's rotating really weirdly. Look at all the stars in the sky here as well. Wow. Right, so there is that one. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, zoom out of that for the time being. Atmosphere back on. And we obviously need to turn up the exposure back to the normal sort of number. Let's put it back to, I guess, minus one, uh, minus seven, five. That works. So, alrighty. So there is that one now. Okay, so next up, um, a very habitable world around a hyperactive white dwarf. Right. I do like these white dwarf ones, I have to say. Oh, but before we leave, apparently Planet 7 has a weird orbit around this star. So let's uh, go back to orbits. So where is Planet 7? Oh, I think I see it. I'm guessing it's this one. Yeah, that's Planet 7. Okay, so you can see, yeah, look at this orbit. So click play, speed it up. So let's actually look at a view of its orbit. So yeah, very, very strange orbit there. I mean, I know we're viewing it quite weirdly. Let's actually look onto the star itself. Right, there we go, and then click play again. Oh, that is going way too fast. Right, so... Yeah, you can see, yeah, a pretty peculiar orbit going on for that one there. Okay, so there is that system. Right, moving on now. So the next system was this one. So, go to... It's this one. Very Hatsball world around a white hyperactive. Right. So, let's see its uh, stat here. So it's got a high ESI stat, so that's a good one. Tidy locked by the looks of it as well. Oh, this one's going to be a really cool view from the surface. Let's go have a look down on here. Turn off orbits once more. Thank you. Right. All the way down here. Let it load up. Nice blue sky. Obviously, the stars. Turn the atmosphere off. Look at the beams. Oh, yeah. So, you can't see the atmosphere completely sort of hides those. But, yeah, now you can see. Oh, yes. Let's slow it down. Yeah, those beams are barely visible. As soon as you turn the atmosphere off, you can see them. Look at that. Oh, yes. That is awesome. So, oh, you can see the moon going around as well. Heck yeah. And you can see, you'll see some other planets in the distance over there as well. Clouds are saucy still going past. But yeah, that, that is cool. 
So looking at the system itself, it looks like it's a binary between the white and the brown dwarf. Obviously they've all got planets in orbit of them as well. So cool find having it around the good old white dwarf there. I, I am a fan of these white dwarf ones, that is for sure. So let's close that. Right, where are we heading next? Okay, so next up we got one uh, uploaded by Magic Pineapple. They haven't given any description of what this is, so I guess it's for us to discover. So let's uh, go ahead and enter it in, see what we got. Organic multicellular marine terrestrial, okay. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Right. oh, yes, look at that. Oh, and the green atmosphere. Oh, that is a gorgeous looking world there. Look at that. It's got rings, it has a moon. Looks gorgeous underneath the atmosphere. I mean, that is a proper green grasslands going on there. Oh, yeah. I guess it's in orbit of a yellow dwarf, maybe. Yeah, yellow dwarf. All right. Oh, yeah. That's, that is almost like an Earth 2.0 here. That is a gorgeous looking world. So, all the way down here. Well, visually, it's an Earth 2.0. I don't know if the atmosphere works. I mean, yeah, it's uh, quite a greenhouse effect in temperature here. But, yeah, nice green grasslands. And we can get those all uh, loaded up here. See if we can see the ring from the, uh, what was that ring on? Uh, I think you can see it there. Let's turn off the, obviously, yeah, the, the ring is there. You can definitely see it. So, cool stuff. Obviously, grass on the floor. Nice green grass. Let's see if we can try and find some cool landscape areas. So, looks fairly flat at the moment. But, yeah, that is a gorgeous looking world. Especially from the long distance. Uh, maybe, can we find any hills or anything? This area looks interesting. Oh, yeah, it's like a little lake. Let's have a little look down here. Oh, yeah, look at the size of this lake as well. That's a pretty large lake. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. So, just lake all by itself, no connection to the sea, just a huge lake. That's that's cool. That is really cool. Uh, where's the rings gone? Can you see the rings from here? Oh, it does look really weird when you turn the atmosphere off. No, the rings aren't visible, but yeah, look at that. That's, a, that's cool. I like it. Hey, I think I have to... Um, Add a, uh, let's add this location. That is a, that's a cool one. I like it. So, there you go. Hey, that's, that's cool. Nice find. Very, very nice find with the rings as well. Yeah, that's a good looker. Right. Uh, next up, another one from Mad Planet Guy. He has filled this chat up like crazy with objects. These are all from February as well. I'm only getting them to now. It's been a while since we've done a space engine. Right. Um, next up, we have got this one. So, oh, it's a sextuple system as well. Right. <laughs> Uh, this system has so many types of objects in it, it's unreal. Marine worlds, aquarius, terrors, gas giants, neutron stars, white giants, brown dwarfs, yellow dwarfs, white main sequence stars, orange dwarfs, Venus-like worlds, temperate... D that, yeah, that's that's a lot of stuff. So, let's get a full list of what we can find in here. So, we'll go around Barry Center A first. So, oh, look at all this. Okay, so, white, white giant and orange dwarf. Okay. Uh, second object, that's the white main sequence. Next up, we've got Temperate Jupiter, and that's obviously got some uh, moons. Then we have Cold Marine Aquaria here. That's also got some moons as well. Right. Then we have this one. This Cold Super Jupiter looks pretty cool with a ring on it. Let's have a little peek at this one. Okay. Oh, I love the rings. Right. So there it is. Okay, it's tilted on its side like Uranus as well, actually. Look at that. So this obviously has its own set of stuff. Oh, there's a moon with rings as well. No way. Hey, hey, hey. It's got moon with rings. That's pretty cool. So, I guess we can see that's our parent planet over there, I'm guessing. Yep. So, oh, that is awesome. Moon with green rings. Look at that green. Oh, that is that is cool. Obviously, there's stars everywhere here as well. Okay, so backing out of those guys. So, we've got Barry Center. So, what's this? Oh, this is just the Barry Center. Okay. So, that's the center of like, the gravity point. Oh, that red star there. What the heck? Oh, that's just the way because we're tilting the camera. Right, so then we have Yellow Dwarf, Temperate, or Torrid Erida. Go over here. So it's just loads of different stuff in here. Oh, the red cloud. Oh, look at the red cloud. Oh, yes, we're having a look on this one. Just for those clouds alone. Let's have a little look under. Oh, look at those monstrous clouds. Oh, yeah. Let's have a little... Uh, let's turn off all this stuff. Let's have a proper... Look at this. This is almost like a super dark and like Venus. I mean, yeah, it's 900 degrees. So this is probably like the Venus-like world he was talking about. Look at those clouds. They look so cool. Right, can we get any sunlight on this side? Though? Let's have a little look. Hopefully this one isn't tidally locked. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it does. Oh, no, 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 we're getting some light. Well, we had light for a brief moment there. Okay, let's try and work out why we're not getting any light. So maybe it is tidally locked then. Okay, let's have a look on the daytime. Uh, so the hot, the 
hot day side. Blue sky. Okay, interesting. Um, obviously, very, very barren wild floor here. There's obviously the stars in the sky. Be this this poor thing's being scorched, that's for sure. Let's see if we can wait for it. Let's see a binary in the sky over there. There's just stuff everywhere going on in this system. This is crazy. So, any any clouds going past? Oh, no, that does receive night time. Okay, cool. Yeah, interesting stuff. I like that. That's a cool one. So, zooming out. Oh, those clouds look monstrous. Look at that. I mean, that's just a cool picture right there. I think we're... Oh, that's got to be the thumbnail, surely. Look at that. Let's just reverse time and get those clouds in a really cool position as well. But, I mean, that... If that if that's a thumb if that's a thumbnail it's got or if I've ever seen an image that's got to be a thumbnail let's get that screenshotted and saved because that is that is that's flipping awesome oh yeah that is that is really really cool right oh it's actually losing material as well Look, if we click play it's got a trail it's got a tail oh this it's actually losing material not good right so next up we have got uh, we viewed that one so there's the airless mini earth torrid arid earth we'll have a little peek at this one. As well, this one looks pretty hot in temperature. So this is a Venus, another Venus-like world, uh, by the looks of it. Yep, underneath it, looking good. I like the color scheme on it as well. It's like pink and orange sort of color scheme there. That's looking cool. Right, next up. Oh, let's go back up to the here. So back out of that. I think that's the furthest we can go actually. But yeah, that was a huge load of objects, different types of objects we saw in there. So we obviously didn't visit them all, but I think we visited probably some of the cooler-looking ones there. So. There is that system done. All right, next up, we've got another object. This one has no description. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. I think we'll finish up on this one for today. So let's see what he has uh, got to, for us to finish up on. So over here, he hasn't left any description, like I said. Five objects of life. I think we can work out what's going on here. So, right, first object with life. All right, hot arid earth with life. Organic multicellular terrestrial, right? So here we are. That's the first of the uh, planets of life here. Obviously not the most appealing looking object um, over here at the moment. Though. So let's move on to the next one. So we've got a warm, arid suburb of life. Let's have a look over here. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, here it is. Alrighty, so again, obviously not the most appealing looking thing. Whoa, what have I just attached on? What the heck? What is this? Have I crashed in? I think I've crashed into a moon or something. I have crashed into a moon. <laughs> nice. That's a pretty cool uh, coincidence there. So, yeah. Ah, we crashed onto a moon. Okay. This A1 planet looks cool. Hot Super Neptune. How's this one look? Oh, that does look pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Right. Um, then next up, the second star. This one's the one more around it as well. Look at all this stuff. I mean, it's just... God damn, there's just stuff everywhere. There's so many cool things to find. So, they've got two binaries. Or a binary here with some... Uh, two ocean-like wells there. Uh, next up, we've got the next... Uh, or exotic unicellular life, okay. So this one's just a uh, good old... Um, so this one is obviously being shown to us because of the family objects of life it's got in it. So we've got that one there. Uh, next one we got this one. So this one's got a moon with life as well, actually. So here it is. That one actually has a patch of water on it as well, that's cool. Right, and then um, got this one over here. So that has life on it, does it? Subglacial organic multicellular, okay. A lot of uh, bits and stuff over there, okay. So we won't, have a, we won't have a look at all of those. So, right, next up we have this one. And then um, I think this is the last one. So exotic unicellular subglacial, right. So here it is here. So not obviously the most appealing wells of life, but still five wells of life. That's pretty crazy stuff there. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for today's Space Engine video, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Obviously we've got a whole lot more... Um, objects to go through i mean there's probably another four three four videos worth of stuff to check out here so we'll definitely be getting uh, hopefully on those at some point but with that all said and done let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys are some of the really cool objects we saw a massive thank you to mad planet guy um for sending uh, most of those in also we had one from uh magic pineapple six as well so thank you to him as well for sending uh, our submission and those guys um in but yeah with all that said and done guys make sure to subscribe for more helps on the journey to 30,000 subscribers now Again, a massive thank you for 20,000. That is absolutely awesome. And, yeah, make sure you leave a like. Let's see if we can go for yeah, 30, 30 odd likes, I'd say. And then, um, yeah, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.